Hello everyone, Zane here, welcome to another Final Fantasy XIV video. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to upgrade your Relic Tools to the Finale. So, Step 5 and Step 6. Unfortunately, these tools have absolutely no use outside of doing the new Expert Recipes. But otherwise, you can get to level 100 and Dawn Trail with the Indicator or the Script Set just fine. But this is to keep us busy until 7.0. So, you're going to need around 694 CP. Which means that you're going to have to make sure that your legs have a CP10, feet have a CP10, earrings has a CP10 and a 4, and for the neck and the wrist and the rings at least a CP plus 7, which is basically grade 9. If you have those CP melds, you're good to go. The offhand is there just to make sure that you have the extra CP if you need it, and if you still have the 694 with food, equipping your soul stone for 15 extra can help you get there if you're a little bit low. Otherwise, my stats and melds have not changed at all. You're going to be using the Briani High Quality and the Blue Draft with extra CP and Control. So I do have a macro that I made. It's going to give you the least collectability required to pass these in. You need at least 60. So you'll be doing this 60 times. Since there's no high quality materials to make, they're all pretty much gatherable. And then with white scripts, which are 70 a piece, you can easily knock off 60 within, I would say an hour or so. And if you're doing it manually, you're most likely will run out of food more times than anything else. So this is a better way to rapid fire and not waste your food. All right, so as for the macro for step one, Muscle Memory, Manipulation, Waste Not 2, Veneration, Foreground Works, Innovation, 2 Prep Touches, 2 Prudent Touches, and Innovation. Next, Prudent Touch, Master's Bend, 2 Prudent Touches, Innovation, and Great Strides and Power Gods. The reason why there's no careful synthesis or basic synthesis at the end is this because if you have a chance to get that second threshold for the second collectability, you can manipulate it. All depends if you get enough pliance during some of the biggest moves like Waste Not 2 and Manipulation. So in the end, you can manipulate, manipulate it to get yourself that extra threshold if you're close enough. If it's around 8,000 collectability, don't bother. Just complete the craft and uh, move on to the next. All right. Um, also, uh, 40, 81 craftsmanship is enough for step one. You won't overcap it because there's no malleable condition with step one. So you should be just fine with 40, 81. On my carpenter, I had a little bit less than that. So we should be just fine. So we're going to do trial since I don't have the materials for it right now. So this is going to be step one. Oh, step five in this case. So we're basically ignoring most conditions. So whatever we get, we get. Master recipes are hard enough on us. So this is basically for you guys who just want to do it real quick without really thinking. Macro number one and number two. So with eight eight uh, eight twenty two, we have no way in chance of getting to eleven twenty five. So we ultimately, just Go ahead and finish. All right, so let's do it again.
and macro number two. So the rotation will always get you to the Lotus Cleft ability, so without fail. Alright, so that is going to be for step one. So do that around 60 times. If you are lucky, you might be able to get the second threshold. So we're going to be switching over to Carpenter. And now this is going to be for step two. Alright, this is going to be for step two. Now here's the problem with this. Primed. We have Primed and Malleable now. So, to make sure that we do not accidentally get screwed over by RNG here, I have the starter. If it is prime on Waste Not 2, then you're going to do this one here, which will do basic and standard touch instead of prudent touch. And then we go into the finisher. If there is no prime, then we would choose this one with the prudent touches and then finish it off there. All right. Now, for Malleable, since you can get Malleable for the progress step, we are adding in a final appraisal. Because if one Malleable lands during the ground works, you will complete the craft by accident. So putting in final appraisal at the fourth slot here will help you prevent yourself from completing it. Then it'll take two basic touches or synthesis to give you to that 100%. Alright, so that was macro number two. Unfortunately, that good's not going to land on anything, unfortunately. And we just 25 points over, so we just barely get there. So if you have any CP left over, you can do careful synthesis if you like, but all, otherwise just do two basics. And pretty much there you go. That is the rotation for step one and for step two. And make sure that primed and malleable do not ruin the step two that's how you do it so they're going to be split into two one for primed and one for non-primed so i made sure to cover all bases when it comes to this so when you're done with that you'll pass in your tool and then you'll have the load star which is going to look like this which quite frankly i think it looks pretty damn cool like this all right so that is how you guys upgrade your tools for step five and step six. Also, by the way, uh, talk to um, Geralt's double ganger over here to do a little prerequisite quest. There's a little cutscene that you'll see. And then talk to him again to finish it to unlock the new materials. Because you'll be needing these here for the new recipes, which is going to cost you 70. So I, like I said... On my stream, it's going to cost you 4200 I think, for the 60 for each. And if you do end up getting the second threshold for these turn-ins, you can take the materials that you have and then put them for the next craft for step 6. Okay, guys. So that's pretty much going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you're new from all Final Fantasy XIV content and join the first brood. If you guys want to join my Discord server, the link is in the description down below. And if you guys want to support my channel monetarily, I do have YouTube memberships available and also a link to my Patreon in the description down below. So until next time, may you forever walk in the glorious light of Lord Bahamut. And always remember to keep forging. Bye. Happy crafting!